a punch so heavy it might just knock Silicon Valley out cold and something is profoundly wrong in the most beautiful way ever thought possible. Something far more devastating than an earthquake is about to hit the world in 2025. It won't shake the ground, but it will rattle the very foundations of power, control and technology. It's not war, not a pandemic, not even AI. This is bigger. This is Africa's uppercut to the global tech elite. A punch so heavy it might just knock Silicon Valley out cold. There's a subtle tremor in the fabric of things, a shift, a warning. Most people go about their days, oblivious or willfully blind. But the signs are there, if you dare to look. This isn't a distant threat, it's here, now, unfolding. No bombs, no spectacular market crashes, at least not yet. This disruption is quieter, more insidious. It creeps in, unannounced. It's a change in the very air we breathe. Power is a strange thing. It can vanish like mist, especially when you think it's unshakable. In the West, we thought we had it all mapped out. Our smartphones, our clouds, our rules. We were the architects of the future, or so we believed. We exported our vision of progress, grew comfortable, complacent. Our dominance felt like a law of nature. But the earth beneath our feet is starting to tremble. What is this tremor, this impending storm? It's not what you think. It's not coming from the usual suspects. Not a rival superpower, not a rogue cyber army. The source is unexpected, unsettling. It's a whisper about to become a roar. And it threatens to overturn everything we thought we knew about technology, power and the world. The headlines haven't caught up yet, but the shift is real. The future is no longer certain. The rules are changing and the West is no longer in control. The tremor is growing. The world is on the brink of something new. Are you ready to see it or will you look away? The choice is yours, but the change is coming, whether you're prepared or not. Listen closely. The whisper is getting louder. The epicenter of this earthquake? Not Silicon Valley, not Shenzhen. It's Lagos, Nigeria, a city pulsing with energy we've ignored for too long. This is where the anomaly was born. The device? Unassuming, deceptively simple. You might dismiss it at first glance. You'd be wrong. Inside its modest casing lies a power that defies comprehension, a quiet revolution you can hold in your hand. They call it the intelligent phone. Built in Africa, no Western patents, no Western microchips, no venture capital, entirely outside the established ecosystem. It's a technological declaration of independence, and it's sending shockwaves through the industry. The audacity of it, how could something so advanced, so different, emerge from the shadows? Bypassing the gatekeepers, the giants, the established order. The implications are existential for the tech world. The balance of global power is shifting. It's a question that keeps many important people awake at night. The tremors are growing, the world is watching even if it won't admit it. The rules have changed, and the West is no longer the only player. The game has just begun. Who's behind this? Not a billionaire, not a team of elite engineers. The inventor is a high school dropout, someone the system wrote off. His name is whispered with awe and fear. He wasn't trying to compete with Apple or Samsung. His vision was born from necessity, from the struggles of his community. He wanted to empower, not just entertain, no research labs, no billion dollar budgets, just raw ingenuity, resourcefulness born from constraint. He saw connections others missed, asked questions others feared. This is innovation in its purest form. And it's not just about one person. It's a testament to Africa's vast, untapped talent, a continent brimming with potential, long overlooked by the so-called developed world. Now they have no choice but to pay attention. The world is changing and so are its innovators. What does this intelligent phone actually do? It has no SIM card, yet connects to networks. No GPS, yet knows your location. No screen, just voice. But not ordinary voice recognition. It understands you, your intent, your nuances flawlessly. It anticipates your needs sometimes before you do. Imagine a device so attuned to you it feels like an extension of your mind. This is beyond algorithms. And the price? Less than five US dollars. A device with these capabilities for pocket change. It upends the economic models of the smartphone industry. It makes intelligence accessible to almost everyone, but there's more. It's a real-time lie detector, not through sensors, but by design. It can discern truth from falsehood instantly. Consider the implications for relationships, business, politics. The world may never be the same. This isn't just a new gadget. It's a paradigm shift. The rules of technology have been rewritten, and the old guard is terrified. The future is here, and it's nothing like we expected. Let me paint you a picture. A story whispered in Lagos. A man's car vanished. Not stolen, disappeared. Police and insurance were stumped. The car was gone, lost to the digital ether. Desperate, the owner got his hands on the intelligent phone. He asked, where is my car? No apps, no interface, just a question. The device didn't reply with coordinates or maps. Instead, it offered a feeling, a subtle pull, a sense of direction. It guided him through crowded streets, down unfamiliar alleys to a forgotten warehouse. There he found his car, intact, hidden, undetectable by any conventional means. How did the phone know? No GPS, no network. Some say it tracked the intent of the thieves, the emotional residue. This isn't technology as we know it, it's something else, a new kind of intelligence, one that defies explanation. The story spread quickly. People began to wonder, what else could this device do? 
What other mysteries could it solve? The boundaries of possibility were suddenly wider. The old rules no longer applied. The world was changing one question at a time and the answers were coming from unexpected places. The intelligent phone was rewriting the script and everyone was paying attention. The impossible was now within reach. The future had arrived and it was listening. This $5 marvel isn't just another product cycle, it's a fundamental disruption, a shock to the system. Western tech giants with their walled gardens and control suddenly look slow and vulnerable. Their dominance is being questioned, not by a rival corporation, but by an idea made real. Their business model relies on control, hardware, software, your data. They sell expensive devices, lock you in, harvest your information. This Nigerian phone operates outside that paradigm. No app stores, no cloud infrastructure, no control. It's a ghost in their machine. Governments and intelligence agencies thrive on secrecy and surveillance. What happens when a cheap device can expose falsehoods, empower ordinary people, and bypass official channels? It's a wrecking ball aimed at the foundations of the current tech order. It doesn't just want to compete, it wants to change the game. Planned obsolescence, data exploitation, the illusion of choice, all threatened. The emperors of Silicon Valley might soon find they have no clothes. The exposure will be brutal. The world is watching. The old order is crumbling, and there's no going back race cards and profiling people based on their skin color you will be shocked at what actually went down things are changing in a way the matrix will not find it easy to digest as it's very uncomfortable to the very fabric of their own protocol and existence i will be back shortly after this video uh, an invention a product that she wants to show us we are here in tech week so uh, hi I invented this AI phone that has quite a lot of features that a regular phone does not have. Yeah. It's voice control, it doesn't have a screen, but it has a holographic display. Okay, go on. Here's the store that it should print. You can get this for 3,500 naira. Okay, so you did a holographic display for 3,500 naira. Yeah. Alright, let's see. What will make you call? Hi, if you call Mark. Which Mark? Mark Essien. Calling Mark Essien. That is quite amazing. So the calls actually work. All right, that's cool. It can also detect your exact location. Mm -hmm. Show me. Hi, it's your We are at four point by share at it. So aside that, it can track people's location using their IMEI number. Do people have to subscribe or do they have to share their location with you? Yeah. They don't have to share and you can track them? Yes. Okay, can you show how it works? Where is my mom? She is at the market. As you can see, my mom is at the market. Okay, this is this is pretty cool. What else can it do? It has a light detector. A light detector. Okay, you that's. Tell it to lie and then to if you turn on light detector. Okay, so I can see anything that, and it will detect somehow that it's a lie. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am currently at the beach on holiday. That's a lie. We are at four point by share at him. Alright, that's pretty that's pretty nice. Also, the extra feature is that it comes with an inbuilt charger. An inbuilt charger, let me see that. This so you just plug it in and it works already. Alright, that's cool. Okay, so for three thousand five hundred naira we get all those features in this phone and you invented it this is pretty good well it's incredible isn't it fascinating that the current generations are beginning to understand who the real villain is the hands behind the division racism economic sabotage our unity is their weakness our division is their weapons of choice it's incredible isn't it fascinating that the current generations are beginning to understand who the real villain is the hands behind the division racism an economic sabotage. Our unity is their weakness. Our division is their weapon of choice. For generations, the West saw Africa as a continent of problems, not innovation, a place needing aid, a source of raw materials, a market for finished goods, never a hub of cutting edge technology. This was our blind spot, our fatal miscalculation. While we celebrated minor updates, something revolutionary was taking root. Unseen, unheard, unacknowledged, it grew in the fertile ground of necessity and ingenuity. Now a technological overthrow is a looming reality, not by force, but by the disruptive power of a superior idea. David versus Goliath reimagined. The silence from the established players is deafening. Has African genius always been overlooked, dismissed, or even suppressed? The $5 phone doesn't just suggest it, it screams it. The world is finally listening. Let's revisit the phone's alleged capabilities. 
tracking, yes, but not just lost cars. Some claim it senses environmental distress, even the Earth's pain, and the lie detection, an innate perception of truth. All this for less than a cinema ticket. Panic is spreading in Silicon Valley boardrooms. Tech elites built on controlling information are in crisis mode. Their empires, built on data harvesting and obsolescence, seem fragile. Intelligence agencies, spies, eavesdroppers. Their craft is built on secrets. How do they function when anyone can flag a lie? When truth becomes radically accessible. The arrival of this device is a geopolitical earthquake. The ground is shifting. The old games of espionage and propaganda might be over. A new, more truthful and perhaps more chaotic era could be dawning. And they are terrified. So, there you have it, the $5 Enigma. Born from the spirit of Lagos, Nigeria, it stands as the symbol of ingenuity outside the old channels. What does it mean? Is it a tool of liberation, or does such power carry unforeseen dangers? Can it remain uncorrupted, uncontrolled? Is this an isolated marvel, or the first sign of a global shift? The questions are unsettling, the answers even more so. One thing is certain, the world tilted on its axis the moment this phone was conceived. The future is no longer designed in California or assembled in China. It might just be whispered on the Lagos breeze, carrying a message of irreversible change. Are you listening?